We are transferring to orbiter internal power at this time. Discovery is now running off its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Scart. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 17 seconds and counting. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Go for main engine start. Main engine start. 2, 1, booster ignition and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, paving the way for future missions beyond. Discovery's three liquid fuel main engines now throttle back to 67% of rated performance, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it breaks through the sound barrier. Discovery already three and a half miles in altitude, one and a half miles downrange, traveling almost 750 miles an hour. Everything looking good on the bird. 57 seconds into the flight, engines beginning to rev up. Standing by for the throttle up call from Capcom Steve Frick. Discovery Houston, go at throttle up. Private, go at throttle up, sounds UHF only. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Steve Lindsay. And Discovery Houston, it's expected day to hit Tittle Clear shortly. Copy. Lindsay joined on the flight deck by pilot Mark Kelly, flight engineer Lisa Nowak, and mission specialist Mike Fossum. Mission specialists Pierce Sellers, Stephanie Wilson, and Tomas Ryder of the European Space Agency down on the mid-deck. Ryder headed for six months on the International Space Station. One minute, 47 seconds into the flight, 22 miles in altitude, 18 miles downrange, traveling 2,600 miles an hour. Standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Solid rocket booster separation confirmed. Guidance now converging. Discovery's onboard computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff. We should have a good forward link now on S-Bend. Copy. 